Do you want to know the real reason that forcing people back to the office and CEOs hate remote work? It has very little to do with corporate real estate and everything to do with controlling your life. Remote work became popular during the pandemic. Companies realized the only way they could keep going was to allow people to work from home. But as people started working from home, they started to realize that most of their work could be done from a laptop. And if they needed to meet with people, they could just do that from a Zoom meeting. But employees also realized that work didn't need to be their priority in life anymore. They could live their life and work could fit around their schedule. And as long as they were getting results, there were no problems. But the restrictions from the pandemic were lifted about six months after, uh, but they didn't force people back to the office. And this is because the great resignation was going on and the only way to attract top talent was to allow for remote work. Fast forward a few years and we are now in an employer market. An employer market means that when there's a job opening, you get hundreds if not thousands of people applying and it's a really tough job market. Companies have realized this is the perfect time to force people back to the office because they have all the power. The scariest thing in the world for most employers is employees that aren't 100% focused on work and where work isn't the priority. If they're paying for a salary, they want work to be the number one priority. It's a lot easier for this to happen in the office than when people are working from home. This is why companies are forcing people back to the office. They want control over the workers.